Uh, Korea was at basically at Bell Lab Square, and for those of you who may be too young to know what Bell Lab, Bell Labs was the premier world laboratory at one time. Um, very famous in terms of the number of quantum leaps that it made in technology of the transistor, the laser, um, uh, feedback theory, microphones, and, and, and all came from um, Bell Labs. And I've forgotten what the question was after all of that. What's the question again? Oh, what were some of your uh, favorite inventions that either you worked on or that oh, you okay. saw right. at Bell Labs? Right, all right. Uh, now I know where I was going in, in telling that story. Um, when the uh, Electret microphone gained traction through uh, Sony and other companies that decided to produce it, um, it uh, became, um, well, it was being integrated into to telecommunications and during that process I began to be known as the first black man to make a substantial contributions to telecommunications. Um, you know, it's all right to be first, but but it's a little bit dangerous uh, to be first also. And um, and I um, was reluctant to accept that first. And so I began to look at, um, at other black inventors uh, of, uh, that, that I could find. And I, I went to the Schoenberg in New York City, which is about, I think, the best library on black culture and, and contributions. And there I found an inventor by the name of Granville T. Woods. Mm -hmm. And what made Granville T. Woods so important, to me at least, in my technology, is that he had a patent on what was called the carbon transmitter. Uh, he met A.G. Bell through Louis Latimer. Mm -hmm. Louis Latimer introduced Granville T. Woods to, to A.G. Bell. And mm -hmm. A.G. Bell purchased Granville T. Woods' this patent. Mm -hmm. And the carbon microphone was the first mass-produced microphone in telephony, mm -hmm. only to be replaced by the electret microphone. So uh, he became my hero because it let me off the hook in terms <laughs> <laughs> of being that, uh, that, that uh, you know, uh, that first out there, and I like to tell that story because um, uh, uh, one of the problems in modern society is that contributions by people out of the mainstream do not get the place in history that they deserve. Mm -hmm. And so I like to put it there. I like to talk about, uh, about uh, um, major contributions by black inventors and and so this is how he became my favorite inventor from